I've been doing this for quite some time, so it changes from day to day. So um, there's so many big songs. It's hard to pick five. Name one. <laughs> name one. <laughs> name one. No, I can't. I don't know one. Name I don't know one. the names of the songs. You just know you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what they look like, you know. Five favorite places to play. That's also hard. Oh, that's impossible. Yeah, there's there questions we cannot answer. It's top, politics. Top, top, top it's politics. Like when I was in Atlanta, I was a big hip-hop head. Dan you know, electronic music started to become such a thing in the United States that you couldn't ignore it. And I started to kind of educate myself. I really try to enter this genre very carefully to make sure that I was respectful of the people who've been there for years before. And I've really learned a tremendous amount from the youth, like people like Martin and his legends like Steve, who really have taught me a lot about the history of, of electronic music. And I thought you were going to say the old guys. <laughs> <laughs> Top five moments for you in your music career. Wow. Size in the Park, Stockholm, 70,000 people. When I was still as a fan of Tomorrowland, my track was the most played track there. So every time I was in the crowd and they would play the song, I would be with my friends in the crowd partying. Beginning of the Swedish House Mafia tour. Okay. Ending of the Swedish House Mafia tour. Ultra, Miami this year when I got off stage, surrounded with friends and family. This is a great moment. Oh, that's beautiful. I feel it. I'm a lover of music, and I think that what I really like the most about the EDM culture is that it's a celebration of music, and they, they're collaborative, and people, I think that's why so many kids are going to these shows, because they can go there and, and just celebrate music and not the, all the politics around it. Thank you.